away. So here they come. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. System. Oh, right, the alarm system. Uh, two something. Look, Angie, it's simple. The code is the month, day, and year I met your mother. It's a very important date. Maybe that's an important date for you, but not for me. Actually, it's more important to you than to me. If I hadn't met your mother on that date, I'd still be here, but you wouldn't. Okay, I'll memorize the code. Codes? <laughs> Who needs codes? Hello, Blackie. How are you today? Fine, Dr. B. Good morning, Angie. And good morning, Mr. Montfist. Anyway, you're talking about an alarm system, right? Yes, just put one in. There's a sale on alarms. Waste of money. All you need is a good dog like Hamp here. Well, as you know, we have a dog. <laughs> Oh, yes. He, he's a dog, all right. But I'm talking about a real dog. A guard dog. So, has Hamp ever been pressed into service? Uh, you know, stop somebody from breaking into your house? Not yet. But if the time ever comes, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> First dog I ever saw afraid of a squirrel. <laughs> Come on, let's go help Mr. Montfister out. All right. <laughs> The alarm was unarmed. You didn't touch the control panel. No, I was in the kitchen. What about Roy or Catherine? No, they were in their rooms. Are you sure you entered the right code? You think I don't remember the day we met? Maybe you programmed the wrong date. Let me just take a look. Hmm. Everything looks all right. Dr. Bindleby? Dr. Bindleby? Yes. I'm Bobby with the alarm company. Nice to meet you, Bobby. I reset the system. So what was the problem? No problem, sir. Everything checks out fine. But the alarm went off by itself. No, sir. Something must have triggered it. Exactly. So what was the problem? No problem. Like I said, everything checked out A-OK. -okay. But if something triggered it, then there is a problem, right? Right. And what might that problem be? Don't know, sir. Whatever it is, it isn't our system. My guess is the phone line. The phone line? Yes, sir. Probably has a faulty rabbit relay, which could be giving you gator bursts in the settle tweeds. If I were you, I'd get the phone company over here pronto. This is Norma I'm speaking to, right? Yes, that's right. When? Between 9 and but... 6. That's the best <sighs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The phone company said they can have somebody here between 9 and 6. 9 and 6. But I have classes to teach. And I run a bookstore. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to split up the day. I can stay until 10.30. Okay, I can come back at 10.30, but I have a class at 11.30. All right, I'll take an early lunch, but I need to be back at the store by 1 to meet a publisher's rep. I can cover you from 1 until 1.45. My meeting should be done by then, so I'll run back here and let's see. I'm good until 3. Good, I'll meet you here at 3, but I have a parent-teacher conference at 4. Okay, I'll pick up Catherine and be here by 4. Are we set? I hope so. You know what happens if you miss the phone company. They punish you. Next appointment in three weeks. Between 5 a.m. and midnight. All right, let's synchronize our watches. Now, I have noticed that certain things around the house that I'd asked to be taken care of were not done. Roy. Hey. Didn't I ask you to take that old piece of outdoor carpet from the back porch and put it by the curb? Me? I thought Angie was doing that. No, Roy, you were supposed to do that. And Angie, I see that the coffee table drawer in the den is still filled with old television schedules and moldy candy from last Halloween. Wasn't Catherine supposed to clean out that drawer? No, I was supposed to... I don't remember. Which is why I've compiled a written list of things to do with a name assigned to each item. And you know why I've gone to the trouble of making this list? Mm -hmm. Responsibility. You see, if one person is clearly responsible for something, it usually gets done. Okay, everyone, you better get moving or you'll be late for school. Yeah, Mom's right. Let's get out of here fast. All right, the responsibility speech will resume at dinner. Oh, man. <laughs> I was joking. That's all I have to say on the subject. Except for one brief addendum. Everyone in this house is responsible for memorizing the code for our new alarm system. I don't want it going off all the time because you can't remember. <laughs> 
Like I told your husband, Mrs. Bindleby, our system checks out fine. You call the phone company? Yes, they're coming today. Good. Have them check out the boa blockers. Oh, right. Boa blockers. <sighs> the phone company been here? Not yet. Oh. I think they're watching the house and waiting for us to leave. But this time, the phone company will be foiled. We have every hour, every minute, every second covered. Ah, uh, they'll find a way. I will keep watch for our phone friends and be right here when they arrive. Be back at 11.30. Roger. What's that? This? I, I don't know. Probably some sales flyer. It was taped to the door. Oh, no. It's from the phone company. A representative stopped by for your scheduled appointment but found no one at home. Please call our office to reschedule. Oh, I must have been in the basement with the guy from the alarm company. He just left. Okay, well, all right. Look at the time on this note. They were here five minutes ago. Hey! Who? Whoa! Oh, there. There he is. Hey, 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 Look here, look. Uh, hey, Mr. Bowman! Come on. Hey, 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 you! Yeah, oh! oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Arthur Bindleby, you just stopped at my house? No one was home. I left a note on your door. Well, uh, you see, my wife was in the basement and didn't hear the doorbell. Sorry about that. You can call to reschedule. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You were just there five minutes ago. And I recorded a not at home in my log once I've done that. Look, Frank, just this one time, can't you make an exception? Please, Frank, you know what happens when you reschedule? <laughs> yeah, you'd be lucky if we get back to your house this century. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But you'll have to lock the dog in the bedroom. What a day I've had. You're not going to believe this. Incredible. I tell you, my phone went out on me. It was, I took my friend's old car. You know, I didn't want to rent the car. My kid was using my car. To it's a long forget. Anyway, I wind up with this old shebang, this old Buick. I'm driving here. I get stuck a half hour away. I'm crippled. I got the gout. I feel like the illegitimate son of Lionel Barrymore. I got diarrhea. Uh, I go into a Chinese restaurant to make a phone call. To you. I knock over their tip cup, break the glasses. I had to give them $20 to shut them up. Ah, forget it. What a day. Well, the boom slangs are clear and the attic clips are clean. I don't know what to tell you. What about the settled twanks or something like that? Uh, you mean the settled tweeds? Whatever. The guy from Alarm Company said something about them. <laughs> he don't know what he's talking about. He settled tweeds of the highest quality in the business. Okay, but he told my wife that it could be the boa something or The other. boa blockers? Yes, yes, that's it. The, the boa blockers. Could be. You think so? Yeah, bad boa blockers can cause a gaggle in a tarantula cord which could set off the alarm. So let's look at boa blockers. Can't. Why not? The boa blockers are inside the house. Oh, well, don't worry. It's my house. I can let you in. The phone company is only responsible for the wiring outside the house. For the wiring inside the house, you'll have to call an electrician. Thanks. I really appreciate you getting here so fast. Hey, you're lucky. I was just around the corner when they beat me. I guess I was lucky. Not really. This is an emergency call. Double or eight plus a surcharge. Eh, nothing wrong with the boa blockers. Slither seethers are okay, too. Chronicle couplers are fine. You know what I think is setting off your alarm? What? It has to be the Diplodocus on the Circumnavigator. Can we check it out? Well, you don't want me to touch your Diplodocus. Why not? It could void the warranty. My Diplodocus has a warranty? Yeah, it's part of the alarm system. For that, you gotta call the alarm company. Dr. Bindleby? An expensive habit, Bobby. The police just told me they're going to charge me $100 for the next false alarm. You call the phone company like I told you? Yes, and the electrician. And? The electrician said you need to check out the, uh, the Diplodocus. <laughs> Diplodocus? No way. Look, will you please check out my Diplodocus? Okay, okay, you're the customer. And the customer is always right, right? Right! How was your day? Fine. How was yours, Daddy? Uh, don't ask, sweetie. 
Here's the situation. The alarm company blames the phone company, which blames the electrician, who blames the alarm company. A perfect circle. Exactly. Daddy. Just a minute, honey. Uh, if you ask me, it has to be the alarm system. Maybe, but what if we do have a problem with the electrical system and didn't know it until the alarm system went in? Daddy. Uh, wait a minute. You're right. That could be dangerous. So, we have to find out what the problem is. Daddy! Yes, Catherine? Remember what you said this morning about the chores? Yes, honey? Maybe you should make a list for all the repair people like you did for me and Andy and Roy. Hmm. Good idea. I'll handle this. Ooh, those people are in real trouble now. I know. Like that alarm system is giving Bindle Beef a lot of trouble. <laughs> Good thing I had you. You gotta check this movie out, Roy. It's really good. You look happy. Oh, yes. Your mother has just taken charge of getting the alarm system fixed. Hmm, great. Problem solved. The way you just said that made it sound like I couldn't have handled it. No, Dad. I, I didn't mean it like that. I only meant that Mom could probably handle it better. Oh, come on, Dad. You know how good Mom is at getting things done. Anyway, once the alarm is working, I don't want any of us to set it off accidentally. Dad, we know about alarms. You don't have to treat us like children. I don't? No. Then what exactly are you? Hmm. Ready? What? For what? The checklist. What's the first thing you do when you enter the house? Check, Check the, the control, control panel status. And if the system is armed? There are 30 seconds to enter the code. And what is the code? 916. 1985. Roger that. And how many functions are there on the control panel? Eight. Name two. Away! Roger. At home. Exactly. Don't worry, Daddy. We got it. I hope so. Just memorize that code and then eat the piece of paper. This alarm thing really has him wigged out. I see we can set up an appointment in about two weeks on Friday the 13th. Will that be good for you, then? May I talk to your supervisor, please? Why do you need to talk to my supervisor? Because I need to talk to your supervisor. But I don't know why you need to talk to him. Excuse me, but I already explained the problem, and you said that you couldn't help me, so now I would like to talk with your supervisor. Oh, that's different. Hold on. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You're on the phone. <laughs> it's all right. I'm on hold. Your diplodocus is fine. Glad to hear that. I even ran a diagnostic on the Frecklemert connectors. The Frecklemerts are firing in perfect sequence. That's wonderful. I'll just be on hold for another hour or so. Have a cup of coffee. I'd love to, but I have a full schedule this afternoon. Okay. If you really must go, but take the alarm system with you. And give us our money back. Cream. Two sugars. Let's put our plan into action. Okay. What's the first thing we do when we go inside? Check the alarm pan. Roger. Oh. Huh? Huh. System unarmed. All clear. Now it stops by itself, too. That's an improvement. Hello, dear. You know Bobby from the alarm company? Hi. And Frank from the phone company? Yo. And, of course, our electrician, Stan. How you doing? Since these gentlemen seem to have a disagreement as to the cause of our alarm's erratic behavior, I asked them to all be here at the same time. Excuse me, Mrs. Bindleby, but the alarm system is in perfect working condition. Then why doesn't it work? Well, obviously, it's a phone line problem. If it's a line problem, it's inside the house. What about your doppel ducks? Doppel ducks? And before you start talking about my doppel ducks, you ought to check your frog frankles. Frog frankles? No way that's causing a problem. What about your lizard lobe? They connect directly to the diplodocus, which, if I may say so, is inside the house. My lizard lobes are industrial grade. So is the diplodocus. I already checked the diplodocus three times, and the rattle routers, and the turtle claws, and... Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't care about gator bursts, settle tweeds, boa blockers, or boom slangs. I don't care if it's slither seethers, cronkle couplers, frog frankles, rattle routers, turtle claws, or lizard lobes. I don't even care if it's the diplodocus. Please, just find the problem and fix it.
was the problem. Well, I... Yo! Well, no, no, I'm the one who... You! If I hadn't... Wait a minute. Not long ago, all of you said that it wasn't your problem. Now you're each claiming that you fixed the problem. So, whose problem was it? Thank you. This. Yes. Commend your mother for the way she handled a very tricky situation. Yeah, Mom, you did a great job. Thanks, but if your father hadn't given that wonderful responsibility speech at breakfast... How are we doing with the list I gave you this morning? The list? Yes, the list of chores with the responsible person next to each chore. Uh, Catherine has it. No, I don't. Angie has it. Yeah, the, the list. Let's see. Now I remember. Guinness ate it. Thank <laughs> you. 